Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more No Man's Sky next gameplay. Uh, we are picking up almost where we left off at the end of the last episode. There was a little bit of footage that uh, did not make it. I went out. If you remember that we had found two indicators for buried tech, we went out and retrieved one of those together. There was another one out there that I went off and retrieved on my own before my helmet cam started recording. So that's all you missed, was just me going out there and grabbing that second piece of tech. Um, remember we saw something up on the side of the uh, mountain here. That was just a resource outcropping. I'm not even sure which, what kind of resource that is. Is that copper? No, pyrite. We have no use for pyrite right now. Hey there, guys. Uh, don't mind me. Don't be scared. No, no. Okay, they're a little scared of me. Okay. Uh, we have no use for pyrite, so let's just ignore it. There's some more of those good plants with carbon and oxygen in them. There's also a sentinel around here. Let's see if we can grab some of these before he notices. Oh, out of... Out of goodies for our... Out of fuel for our mining beam. We need carbon for that. That'll do. Alright, now we're heading back to base just to continue on with the, the tutorial-y stuff here. Get us to the place where the universe really opens up and we can start doing our own thing 100%. There's a dangerous plant. Let's get the oxygen from him. More dihydrogen crystals. Uh, you can never have too much dihydrogen, but I'm not going to stay here and harvest all day. We'll just pick some up as we pass. There's another dangerous plant. Okay, and, uh, and our inventory is full, so it's time to head back. Another dangerous plant. There are dangerous plants all over this planet. But we're pretty damn dangerous ourselves, aren't we? So we ain't scared. I ain't got no scared. Here's a plant that is rich in something good. Deuterium. Uh, you don't actually grab anything after doing that, but it does give you a big boost to your exosuit capabilities for a limited time. Ah, trying to get the... Ah, that was it. That was the power surge, and now it's gone. Is this a cave? Oh yeah, there's a cave opening here. Now, I'm not really sure what the benefits of going down in these caves are. Uh, I just know that the one time I went down in there, it was a really just fascinating experience seeing all the different kinds of plants and animals that there are down there. But it's not like, uh, you know, a cave is absolutely going to lead you to something valuable. It's just a cave. And they look really cool, though. getting my scan on. Don't mind me. Just be a second. I must scan all the things. It's in my DNA. Our life support... Oh, yeah, there's a whole other cave down there. Now, you will find slightly more valuable stuff, maybe, down in there. But I think it's more along the lines of just stuff that you wouldn't find elsewhere on the planet. You'll find underground there. So I mentioned that, you know, there are the different kinds of planets. There are the toxic planets and the cold planets and the hot planets. I think how it works... Whoa! And somebody correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I think that the trade-off that would draw you to one of the hostile planets is that you can find more valuable resources there and larger amounts of resources. So the copper... Uh, outcroppings that we've been harvesting so far 
each one has given us like 2,000 copper or, or excuse me, 200 copper or so. I think when you get to the really hostile planets, you find them in much larger deposits, so you're picking up like a thousand copper at a time, stuff like that. So I think that's the trade-off between the hospitable planets and the non-hospitable planets, is you'd want to go to the non-hospitable planets in order to really farm some, some stuff, some valuable resources very quickly. Yeah, these things that are right up on top of the debris seem to be melded in with it. You can't destroy them. Oh, or maybe because I'm using the terrain manipulator, derp. Maybe. Oh, shh, our inventory is full. All right, what we can do is we can transfer some stuff into our ship inventory. To do that, we just open the inventory while we're near the ship. Now you see it's got two, four, six, eight open inventory slots here. So let's go to our exosuit. Let's offload some stuff that we won't be needing. These larval cores we can transfer to the ship. Uh, the ammo that we have no gun for we can transfer to the ship. Nitrogen might come in handy. I don't know. I've never had to use it before. Might as well put that in the ship. The Corvax casing we have no use for. We can put that in the ship. Uh, the rusted metal. I might hang on to that just because it's going to give us... I mean, we may find more of it, and we might as well stack it on ours. If it's going to stack, we can stack it on ourselves instead of someplace else. Um, oh, I accidentally transferred it into the ship. That's fine. Whatever. All right. Well, we at least cleared up some of our inventory, and now we were going to process salvage technology with the blueprint analyzer, which is not what this is. This is the base computer, right? Yes. Derp, sorry, leave. Um, that's the blueprint analyzer there. And yes, we could have built these inside our base if someone hadn't built a roof inside our base. Yeah. Who did that, I wonder? What idiot? Blueprint analyzer. Awaiting input. Researching blueprints. Now, was there a specific blueprint that it wanted us to build here? Do we just have to build one of anything to... to... to complete this? Scroll down and see what might be most useful to research, if we have to research something. Um, maybe a base teleport module wouldn't be terrible. Alright, let's see if that satisfied the tutorial requirement. Yeah, okay. Base computer log updated, return to base computer. That was this thing. Additional archives recovered. Scanner detected unusual, <coughs> repeating 16. The space station. Warning, archives interrupted. Emergency broadcast detected. The traveler finds their wings. They fly toward us as they must. You will find us when the time is right. The base computer interrupted its own archive retrieval program to relay an emergency message, but the broadcast sounds like no distress call I have ever heard. Perhaps the message is right. Perhaps it is time to fly, to return to space, and seek answers to this mystery. Emergency broadcast code 1616161616. Now, 16 16. it may seem like that's just broken, but we have been seeing the number 16 a lot since we started. So there is likely some significance to the number 16. The game now wants us to investigate the emergency signal by visiting the space station and searching for intelligent life forms. Since we have not actually been to a space station yet, why don't we do that? Let's pick up all this equipment. Oh, that's the base computer. That's the one thing that you cannot pick back up again. I think you can destroy it with a weapon if you really want to get rid of it, but we don't. We don't have a weapon right now to destroy it with. We could take off and strafe it with the, our starship, but might as well just leave it there for now. It's not doing any harm. Was there anything to be done with this? Yeah, this is, this is something we can do here. Log extraction complete. Read log. 
Life goes on day after day, delivering after. I hope to go home soon. The life of a is not the one, not for one like me. Multiple sentinel energy signatures detected, requiring immediate. Dropping out of warp. There's the sentinels. What are they doing? Fighting each other. The sentinel ships are engaging each other, ignoring us for now. The sentinels appear to have departed. Distress signals nearby, broadcasting 16 on repeat. That's the one we heard. I'm going to take a look. All right, so. Whoever survived this, I, maybe that was the captain, and this wreck is the result of them trying to investigate this signal. Whatever it is, I think we have accomplished everything that we need to accomplish and want to accomplish down here. If it were just me playing on my own, I would probably stay here and mine some more of these minerals and resources because it is a fairly hospitable uh, play planet that we're on and there's probably still more good stuff to be, to be found buried here. Those cargo pods for instance um, more resource deposits and so on. A floating crystal that might be fun to check out. Another cargo pod buried there and we would probably have to there's some damaged machinery out there. So there's stuff to be done here at this place, but we can always come back here and find it again because we have a base computer here. So that will give us a, a perpetual beacon. And let's see that, that little dome shape at the top there, the half dome at the top. So let's just continue with the tutorial section and take off and go find a space station that it wants us to visit. Space. No one can hear you scream. All right, let us kick in the pulse engine, and it's going to take us 30 seconds to get there. So please return your seat backs and trade tables to their upright and locked position in preparation for arriving at the space station. Space station, here we come. I hope they're Gex. I like the Gek. I hope this is a Gek station. Whoa, 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 no, please don't bump into the space station. Thank you, and slow it down. Alright survivors, our first visit to a space station, let's see what we've got. So there are two habit, uh, inhabited areas here on the space station, one over there and one over here. Let's just look around and see what we see. There's someone we are supposed to talk to here, I'm not sure who it is. Hi! Hi, I'm Cougarific. How are you? See, I can't understand a word he's saying, but that will change as you progress through the game. You will start to understand them more and more. Despite the unfamiliar words, there is something about this alien's manner that implies we've met before. Is this who left the code for me at the signal repeater? I'll repeat the code to him. The life form pauses before turning away. Either they did not hear me or are choosing to ignore my message. I don't think this was the person I was supposed to talk to. Is it you, Analyst Entity Hova? Hi, I'm Cougarific. Despite their unfamiliar words, uh, blah, 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 signal, rep repeat the code. The life form pauses before turning away. This is not who I was supposed to talk to. Still, it was a pleasure meeting both of you. Stay safe, survivors. Space survivors. Now, I'm looking around here because there is stuff 
for you to find if you look carefully. Let's see if I can find one of the things that I would like to find. Uh, these are merchants. I don't think these guys are going to be interested in me. Life form. Repeat the code to this life form. No. No. Definitely not that guy. They're we could buy stuff from him later. Oh, okay. Here's the thing that I was looking for. Encrypted navigation data just sitting here. You can pick that up. That gives us a navigation data card that is a form of currency. You need those cards to summon your own spaceships, etc., etc. So this technology merchant is a hollow suit merchant and we can actually upgrade our hollow suit here here uh, if we have the credits to do it. We can purchase an inventory slot for 5,000 units. We have the credits. Let's do it. All right, so we just added an inventory slot to our exosuit. That's good. Uh, here's a place where you can modify your appearance. I think that's going to be it on this side of the station. We can go to the other side. No loot for us here. Probably shouldn't be running right across the landing platform. That's maybe dangerous to my health. All sorts of new peeps over here. These are not the GAC. These are not the, the peeps I was hoping to find. These are like cybernetic organisms. Life form stares at me. Repeat the code to him. Ah! We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. The code is echoed back to me through the red glare, transformed into a set of coordinates. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form staring at me through its visor. Whatever has happened, they did not appear to have seen it. I should leave and find whatever has been left for me. All right, it gave us a new beacon marker to follow. Possible distress signal. But let's not leave the space station just yet. Let's make sure we explore everything. And talk to everyone, because even though we don't understand what they're saying, uh, just talking to them and maybe... It's a plant. Uh, we can't scan it, but it gave us sulfurine. Which I've never picked up before, so don't know what that's for. Um, okay. Talking to, let me just talk to everyone, even though we're not going to understand anything. Ah! We have a chance to give him a gift. Why don't we go ahead and give him a gift and see what happens. An encoded signal received. Coordinates log reaches signal. Oh, our standing with the Corvax. So by giving him a gift, our standing with our standing with this alien race has improved. Examine the plans that he's sketching. That's not going to make any ex sense to me, no. I, c I attempt to find meaning in the movements, but I cannot visualize their complex plans. The life form pauses. They wait for my request. I will request dialect help. It's going to cost me 10 copper, which is not cheap. But I need the help with the dialect. He teaches me a word of their language. I have learned the word for warning. That seems like a very valuable word to know. Let's see what I can get with this guy. Uh, I can request more dialect help for 10 copper. Not cheap, but... I have learned the word for Corvax. I have learned the Corvax word for Corvax. Um, you'd think it might be Corvax? I don't know. Could be. Oh, I already talked to this guy. I already talked to him, sorry. Hi guys, I'm Cougarific. Nice to meet you. Engineering entity and Zoss. I don't understand you. What? Uh, the Corvax studying list as I approach, they seem slightly embarrassed. These life forms have such a complex uh, concept. I'm not gonna get angry at him. Corvax seems relieved as I walk away. I notice them add a note to their list. Can I talk to you too, geological entity? Mm, da -da, after the afterimage subsides, I can offer... Wait, somehow I, I now have a Corvax casing. Somebody gave me a Corvax casing for some reason. So I can now offer it to him as a gift. 
Great, so my standing has increased with the Corvax, and if I talk to him again, I may be able to request dialect help. Yep. Cost me 10 copper, but I've got the copper, and now I've learned the Corvax word for convergence. I'm sure that will never, ever come in handy, but what the heck. Uh, light projects from around their visor. A tiny perfect hologram of the local star system. That's nice. He altered the projection. Highlighting the planet closest to the space station. Perhaps I should investigate. Hmm, interesting. I received another encoded signal. I think. Did I receive another one? No. Yes. No. No, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, is this the guy I just talked to? Let me attempt to scan that sc system. Oh, he didn't want my he didn't want me to scan it. Sorry. Dude. My bad. Two Stuchamaski. Hernosen, Ernkabashka, Korshabashir. Ah, let's get a little more dialect help. I'm now learning many language many words. Corvax word for toxic. That could be helpful. Here is a uh, teleporter gate. That will take us, if we build a teleporter at our base, we can teleport back and forth between the base and the life station. My ink, my standing with the Corvax has increased and I have reached a uh, uh, an achievement, basically, by meeting 10 aliens. And I've learned five words, so I get another milestone. Good. This is the trade hub that I'm looking at here. Uh, you can come here and sell or buy whatever you want to sell or buy. Well, whatever's offered. They don't always offer the same stuff for sale. Uh, do I have anything I might be interested in selling? I'm not going to have any use for this cactus flesh as far as I know, so get rid of that. Um, sodium's pretty easy to come by. I could sell some of that if I needed the money, but I don't really need the money for anything right now. Sulfurine I've never seen before. I don't know what it's used for, so I'm going to go ahead and sell that. Everything else I'll hold on to. Is there anything I want to buy here? Platinum, salt, and uranium. Um, I might want to buy some uranium, but it looks like it's a little expensive here. Let's not buy anything. Just know that it's there. That's where you go to buy and sell stuff. And now if I talk to these... Uh, now that we've gotten through the tutorial thing... It, we, we would be able to... I think we have to leave the station first. It's not going to let me interact with these guys because we're still in the tutorial section. So, Oh, there's another piece of navigation data. That gave us 15 nanite clusters. I haven't been looking for those very closely. I should probably check all these surfaces again. There's, there's a plant. Can we pick anything up from this plant? Nope. Oh, we were in here. There's nothing in here. Okay, I think that's going to be about it for our first visit to the space station, or a space station. Of course, there are spa many space stations and many different um, solar systems. But for now, let's continue through the tutorial stuff and make it to that encoded signal on a nearby planet. Oh, it's, it's back on the planet that we have our base on. That's good. So let's kick in the pulse drive. Pulse engine. And sit back and check out the in-flight movie. Tonight we'll be showing Police Academy 9. Set in outer space. Very, very funny. there. I'm a space traveler. Traveling through space. And... All right. Now you travel, your ship will travel much faster in the upper atmosphere. Once you get down into the atmosphere itself, uh, you, it's going to limit how fast you can fly. But we're back on our, what is our, I guess I call it our home planet. It's the planet that there's a nice big resource outcropping. And another crashed freighter. 
Why right, the freighters were dropping like flies on this planet, huh? Okay, well, this would be a really cool place to set down if we hadn't already found one just like it right over there. But, let's check out this, uh... Log damage, partial records available, wreck of a freighter, colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but a, the misfiring circuits of a long-forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log, blinking, awaiting input. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Take that blueprint. I pull the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive bl blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. New technology discovered. In order to create a hyperdrive, we need chromatic metal and five microprocessors. Ooh. How, how am I going to do that? Buy microprocessors from a f space station. Units required 95,000 units. Open the guide to learn how to make money. Well, I kind of know how to make money. We make money by scanning stuff and finding stuff and picking stuff up. Um, and selling stuff on the planet. <sighs> We're going to be able to retrieve some cargo pods, buried cargo pods here. There are three, at least three. There's a jettison pod over there, too. Copper deposits, many, 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 many resource deposits all over out here. Let's start with the drop pod and then come back for all these cargo pods. Many cargo pods around here. But remember, like that first one we discovered, most, if not all of them, are going to require some kind of repair to get open. Which means we're going to have to do more mining and grinding to get that stuff working. Didn't I highlight one of these? Where was the drop pod? That's... No, where was the drop pod? One of them said drop pod, which is not something that we would have to dig up or repair. Just be able to grab some stuff out of it. Can't find it now. Our life support systems are low. Let's go to our inventory, click life support, and recharge it with the oxygen capsule. Did, wasn't there an entry that said cargo pod or drop pod? Well, I guess we'll just go for these cargo box. Yeah, see, this this is going to require repair to access. There's one right over there. Well, let's see what we can see. And again, I think that as soon as we open this, we're gonna there's gonna be radiation pouring out of it, so I wanna make sure we have a quick, easy way to get out of here. If it lets us open it. We're going to need chromatic metal. We happen to have enough, so we're gonna repair this and then immediately get the hell out of here. So that gave us What did we get out of that? I'm not sure what we got out of that. Did we not open that? Oh, we just repaired the door. We didn't actually open the door. Now we get out of here. 
Wow, 50,000 units, which is exactly what we needed. That was actually super helpful. Great, but you see that there was radiation pouring out of there as soon as we opened it. This needs... Oh, that did not need any repair, and we got 241 credits out of it. Haha. <laughs> so this is probably going to be a lot easier than I thought. What did we need altogether? Like 95,000 to, to buy the, the... This technology needs chromatic metal, and we need chromatic metal to make the hyperdrive thing, too. I think that we probably have enough microprocessors to go and buy them at the space station. I mean, enough credits to go and buy them at the space station now. But um, let us put down our refiner and start... No, that, I didn't even want to do that. Well, it wasn't terrible to have it there. I guess I could have left it there. What I really wanted, though, is the portable refiner. And now we need to find some copper. More cargo pods buried. Should we get the rest of these cargo pods? I mean, if they're just going to give us credits for nothing, that's great. That's... We can get there. This requires more chromatic metal that we don't have. Alright, so we got a copper. Let's get some copper, and then we can repair all these and, and get the good stuff out of them. Pyrite. Copper at 500 meters. We'll just tag that for now in case. That's the closest one. I think it's going to be the closest one, because we flew right over one on the way in. Maybe that's the closest one. 738. I think that's the one we actually flew over. A thousand meters. 465. That's going to be the closest one. Alright, let's head for that one. Um, I don't know why I did that. Alright, alright, Sentinel, I'm leaving. Hi! Hey, friend. What's your name? That's my Ollie's. Hi, Ollie. Yeah, I don't like these desert planets. I never really... I, I never got the appeal of the desert. I, I grew up in a very lush, forested environment, and deserts just feel like death to me. Some people love the desert. Copper. Give me some copper. That was a tiny copper node. We have to recharge our terrain tool. No, that wasn't what I wanted to do. This, and then we can put the magnetized ferrite in there. Yeah, well. Is that it? Oh, that wasn't much copper at all. Hey, look, there's a buried technology module. And copper right next to it. Or on the way. I mean, the, the buried tech is on the way to the copper, so let's head that way. Ooh, what's that? That is a Tower Barumia. Hi. Yeah, you've got like little tiny legs on your legs. Like, you're, 
a bunch of little tiny legs at the ends of his legs. Strange creature. More dihydrogen crystals that we don't need. Hello, Sentinel. Don't mind me. That gave us some nanite clusters. Which is not really what I wanted, but I'll take it. What's that? It's like solid ferrite. That's pure ferrite. We would need an advanced mining laser to dig that, to break that up. So the game is giving you this guidance just to get you started. As soon as we have unlocked the hyperdrive, that's where the game really opens up and you can start doing your own thing 100%. I don't know what my thing is going to be yet, to be quite honest. This is a good sized copper deposit though. Um, I, I usually... I'm not huge into base building, you know. After doing Minecraft and Subnautica and a bunch of other survival games, The Forest, some other stuff, you know. It's just, there's not that much appeal in building the hugest base. You know, once you do it 10 or 11 times, oh shoot, we are, we're all out of weapon charge and, and we're almost out of ferrite. We're going to have to go get some more ferrite. I I'm going to have to do some ferrite mining here, guys. Sorry. Yeah, so I don't know if I, I want to be a trader. I've never done any farming. I've done a little bit of trading. Uh, you can... You know, the, the solar systems all have, they offer and demand different stuff, right? So, you can load up on organics in one solar system and then travel to a solar system where they have a lot of tech but not a lot of organics and make money selling stuff like that. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't get that much ferrite, but I think that's going to have to do. I really feel like I just want to be an explorer. What I'd like to do is upgrade my scanning visor as much as possible so that I can make a lot of money just scanning stuff. And I would like to just travel around and see what there is to see uh, before I settle in on being one thing or another thing. All right, so we've got a bunch of copper. We're going to head back to the ship and refine it into chromium metal so that we can build our hyperdrive. We can't actually build it yet because we have to travel back to the space station to buy the microchips. See if I can pick up some more ferrite on the way back. Oh, there's a sentinel in the area, so I'd rather not do any mining right here. Also going to need carbon at some point. Oh, that's the mining tool. I mean, that's the, the terrain manipulator. So that those are like petrified cactuses, I guess. Because they give me cactus flesh as well as uh, ferrite. Oh, 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 sentinel, sentinel. Sorry, sentinel, I'm leaving. Yes, I know, I'm sorry. 
No, don't worry about me. I'm going. It's getting cold now that the sun's going down. Yep, we are definitely check our fit bits, but it feels like we're getting some good exercise here. I need upgrades for my gear, specifically my jetpack. This jetpack is almost useless. Hey, I did it right that time. Do I get a cookie? Gotta load it up with carbon and then load it up with copper and make chromatic metal. Oh, look, I got a lot of copper, so I got 250 and 53 copper. So that's going to take a while to do its thing. In the meantime, what? In the meantime, more carbon. That was, we didn't have a, a lot of carbon there. Maybe we should look into picking up some more carbon. Except this sentinel is keeping an eye on the cactuses. Got to guard those cactuses. Don't want anything to happen to them. So what is nitrogen used for? I've never encountered anything that required nitrogen. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, no! No! Don't be angry with me, Sentinel. Oxygen. Trying to stay out of that sentinel's view until he chills. Chill, sentinel, chill. Okay. Yeah, but you don't recognize me, do you? Because you have very, very sh bad short-term memory. What's glowing here? Deuterium-rich plant. That's how the thrust, the jump jet should work. It works like that after you pick up one of those plants. Until you upgrade it. And then it works even better. How are we doing? We have finished. We've got buttloads of chromatic metal. We are ready to get back up to the space station and construct the hyperdrive. So let's do it. Let's do it. Bye-bye, planet... Space station, here we come. Let's try to get up into orbit as quickly as possible. Now we're moving. Now we can tip over and head for the station. Kicking in the pulse engine. on 
these nice, quiet, long, quiet strips that I like to think about life and the size of the universe and all the things that I would do if I had my own spaceship. I wish we had found a nicer planet to settle on. I'm kinda over that one already. But, as soon as we get our hyperdrive built, then the universe is our oyster. We just have to figure out which side of it we want to pry open in hopes of finding a pearl. So yeah, there may be prettier games graphically. There may be games with better sound. There may be games with better stories. I think what really sets No Man's Sky apart is just the sheer scale and sense of freedom you get. You really, there's so much for you to do. All right, we gotta buy some stuff from the Galactic Trade Network. I will buy items. I will buy five microprocessors, right? I will buy one, two, three, four, five. For 95,000, we have 312,000, so this is affordable. And now, we should have everything we need to actually construct the hyperdrive. Access the ship inventory and craft with E to install. Uh, one thing to quickly point out, when you're here on this space station and you come across other ships that have landed, whoa, you can go up to the ship and talk to the captain. He may want to trade with you and he may offer to sell you his ship. So, it's always worth checking up on the other ships that are here on the station with you to see if there might be one that appeals to you and that is that you can afford. I didn't actually mean to empty it, to enter it there, but it's fine. It still works. All right. Uh, now you go to use Q or E to go to the Starship technology slots. You don't have to, but might as well. And install the hyperdrive technology here in one of these extra slots. We have the chromatic metal and the microprocessors that we will need to build it. Now we have a hyperdrive. Let's see what the computer tells us next. Computer, what do you want us to do? Because basically, this is where the, the initial tutorial section is ending. And... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and you're able to start just doing whatever you want to do. Wow, lots of ships heading for the space station. If I had any money, I would turn around and try to... Uh, and see if there was anything to, worth buying there. Search for the mysterious messenger. Look for key clues with the starship scanner C. All right, let's get the scanner. Oh, something just popped in. Locate the broadcast station back here on our home planet. All right, so now we travel back with our pulse engine. La di da, la di da. So, as I was saying, now that our hyperdrive is repaired, we can basically this the whole universe is open to us now. We can go wherever we want, we can do whatever we want. If we want to continue following this story quest line, we can. And at a certain point, other quest lines will appear that we could also choose to follow if we prefer to follow one of those. Or we can just follow no quest lines and just go off and do our own thing. Just explore, maybe build a base, maybe 
build a... Whoa! Sorry, I didn't slow us down fast enough. That was a little scary. Ooh, here's an anomalous signal. Oh, this... Is this back... <gasps> yeah, I, yeah, I. Is this back where we... Where we found all those eggs? I'm not sure if this is the same one or a different one. Do I see our ship around here? No, our ship is way the heck over here. So this is a new structure that also has these extremely valuable eggs here. The whispering eggs. And I think that our health has re replenished enough to the point where we can do a little bit more whispering egg harvesting. Check the ceilings. Oop, there's a bad thing up there. Watch out for him. Ah, here is a health box. Uh, how do I check my health? I'm not sure how to actually bring up my health here. That's life support in the lower left-hand corner. My health is in the upper left-hand corner, or it would be if I could see it. Maybe because it's full. So I'm not going to touch that, because why don't we harvest some whispering eggs and know that that health thing is there if, in case we take a lot of damage from the, the creatures that pop out. <gasps> yeah. Oh, a corrupted terminal. Ah, we got to clean off the residual goop. Oh, we've got no room in our inventory for it. Hold on. We can fix this. We can fix this. Condensed carbon. Let's run back over to our ship and dump off some stuff. Stop. That's what I want. Exosuit inventory... Portable. The cactus flesh is freaking useless as far as I know. I'm just going to delete that. Nitrogen, I think, is useless for me right now. Delete that. We've got lots of oxygen now. Not going to delete any of it, but it's nice to know that we won't need any for a while. Not that much copper left. Certainly not going to delete that. Um, well, I think that's enough for now. We've cleared up a little bit of space here. We've got lots of carbon, too. Looking good. Looking pretty good. I didn't have to go back to my ship at all. I didn't actually transfer anything. I just deleted stuff. Back to the corrupted terminal. Clean off the residual goop that can be uh, put into the refinery and it turns into sh silver. Once the residual goop is cleared off, Success, we've decrypted the terminal. It's clogged with an unnerving pulsating slime. Uh, nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, an alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. But the device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. It deposits a sample of antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. You will find us when the time is right. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16 all the 16s. New product formula learned. Antimatter housing. And it gave us some antimatter. Excellent. Let's grab this research specimen. Standing with the Corvax has increased by retrieving research specimens. Good, 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 good. And now... Let's see about getting a whispering egg. No, 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 not right in front of me. No, no. Jeez Louise. All right, well, that did not go according to plan, and that that ball that appeared is probably gone already. Yeah, it's gone already. Shoot. Well, I've got... I have to recharge my life support. We've got tons of oxygen. Do I kill these guys, or do I just let them go away? Since we've got lots of carbon to charge our mining tool, we might as well just kill these guys. Alright, and he's burying. 
All right, let's try this again. Let's try to actually retrieve something for our efforts this time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. My inventory is full already. How'd that happen? Ow. Are they following me? Oh, yeah, they're <laughs> Yeah, they're following me. All right. You guys are going to leave me alone now that I'm in my ship, right? Right. Okay, good. Whew. Okay. Now, now let's transfer some stuff out of here. Now, so I've lost two different things that I could have picked up or should have picked up there. That's terrible. Uh, let's transfer the residual goop into our starship. Let's transfer the... Um, I, I want all this other stuff on me. Well, we're not going to need the blueprint analyzer right now. We can put that in there. And now what we should do is craft an antimatter housing and then craft... And then use one of these spaces to actually craft a warp cell using the antimatter that we got out of that thing. That clears up some inventory as well. You guys are going to go away soon? Hello? Oh, now we can open our starship inventory, go to the hyperdrive and refuel it with that warp cell. Now we have even more space in our inventory. Ow! Ow! This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Jump! Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm gonna die here. Shit. I don't wanna die. Go away. I mean, I can kill him. Whoa! Oh! All right, as we were running away from that thing, we backed right into a toxic plant, and we died. That is the the second time I have ever died in this game. And it was me taking too many risks and being too bold, knowing that it was not a good idea to go out there and doing it anyway. All right, so... With that death, that seems like an appropriate place to call this an episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. When we come back, we will try one more time to get something good from one of these whispering eggs. Leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the No Man's Sky playthrough. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, survivors.